So we're ready to move on here to stuffing the ICs. I've got power brought out to the system that's currently turned off. I have taken all the ICs and the ones where the, I had the lead corrosion, I've used one of these fiberglass pins. This is a pin with a fiberglass The part sticking out of the pin here is actually a fiberglass and I use that to just kind of scrub as much of the corrosion off the leads and the leads actually polished up okay. Sufficient enough that, that I think I'll be able to use all the original parts. So let's see, we have 74 LS, 528, there should be three at U456, which is right there. find these, this little tool really useful. It does a really good job lining the pins up, taking the, you know, with, with the new parts where the leads are kind of flayed out. And just so they just nice and gently kind of push down into the sockets. So that takes care of those. Four, five, six. LM339, I know there is one, U7, up here, I need to bring in the leads a little bit, I'll actually save the processor, etc. to the end. I've got at U11 and U12, 74 LS 273s. These had really nasty pins. Uh, and they cleaned up fairly well. I mean, I'm happy with how they cleaned up. See, I think they cleaned up sufficiently that I'm okay actually putting them in circuit and having some faith that they're going to make decent electrical contact into the sockets and work. So that's U11 and 12. Then we have two 244s. So let's see, that's that guy, that guy. These had nice clean leads already. One of these goes at U13. And the other one down here at U48. There's a 14013. 14013. At U14. U14. You see. U14 is this guy. And a 14538, which should be right here. There it is. At U15. Hopefully you've seen how my spending the time to organize parts and kind of get ahead of things has really helped here. U24, so the bottom row here for the RAM to be installed now. And the upper row is for expansion. These are 2102s. The leads were a little grubby on them. But like I say, I, I, I went ahead and kind of brushed the leads on every part. Some of them really needed it. 
like I was you know pretty much convinced I was going to have to use a different parts because I I never get the leads clean so I was very pleasantly pleased when the lead actually you know when the leads actually cleaned up it's kind of a rough spot to get into interesting I've got different manufacturers of 2102s here some you now they're all Fairchild it looks like just different markings come on I just place I'm not ready for the ROM yet 74 LS 138 I have two and it calls for two you 435 and you 47 So eight. There's an O four, an O two, seventy four, and there we go, seventy four LS O eight. A U thirty six. LSO fours. There should be was two and here and that's at U37 and U44 this would have been such an incredible Incredibly fun kit to build back in the day. 374 LS32s, and I've got them grouped together right here. These are the leads are not great on. They did clean up. I mean, they, there's definitely some shine to them. U39. Nearly as bad as they were. You you forty, but not great, you know. You forty and you forty six. Hmm. Oh, I didn't. Would help if I actually uh, brought the leads into a bit of alignment. U46, 39, and 37. Is that right? U39, 32, U40 is a 32, and U46. Okay, yeah. 274 LS74s, so they're right here. Why 
Why does there seem to be some logic that isn't... Well, maybe. Maybe I'm just crazy. One, oh, I guess well, there's five open sockets and only four... I'm confused. So U41... So these are down around the clock, that would make sense. They are flip-flops. U41 and U42. U4LSO2. U45. Seventy-four oh four uh, U forty three forty-five forty-four forty-five. Oh, that's R forty-five. That's that's U forty-three there. I've got a part in the wrong place. Okay, that's fine. That's why we're doing this. R45, that's U43. U43 is a 7404. Yeah, I read, read the resistor marking. I took it to be the component of the IC marking. So this is a 74LS02. And it goes to U45, which is right there. So the question becomes, U38 doesn't have a component in it. Why doesn't it? Is it just not used? So I haven't inspected the pins yet on these guys. I'm hoping they're not corroded. These are in these little chip carriers. So there is the CTC. That is a gorgeous part. It's the Z80 CTC. Actually, before I commit these, I want to apply power here. At this stage, why is that already got a bent lead on it? I want to apply power at this point and just make sure the supply doesn't like crowbar or so let's see supply three current limit set at 100 milliamps it did crowbar of course as soon as I turned the video off I remember how to set the current clamp so the board looks like in this state it's drawing 380 milliamps I'm going to power it up 5 volts, 380 milliamps. That's what we should measure here. At least 5 volts. Uh, let me get a ground reference again. And we hit a few. <clears throat> oh, of course, the cables have found the most awesomest way to uh, tangle up because that's what they do. I should be seeing 5 volts places like here, 4.93, 4.93, 5, I don't remember what the frequency counter on this will count to. Let's see if I can see anything. can't tell if anything's counting or not. I would expect that oscillator to be running. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Now let's turn power off. Uh, 
I've just got too much stuff on the bench here again. I think some of these tools need to get moved. Too many projects going on in parallel. There are usually tools everywhere. There should be, this is what I'm looking for right here. Seven segment displays. And put it in upside down, why don't you? leads are not great. Well, I may have to clean those leads. The PIO, those leads look Absolutely brand new and fantastic. See CPU again, those leads look absolutely fantastic. clock again, which is this gorgeous purple package here, the gold leads, 40th week of 74. We need to be to the monitor, we need to be to read. And it's either going to come up and do something or it's not. And we hit the current clamp at 600 milliamps. So let me bring supply up to an amp. Let's draw 930 milliamps. We don't let's see, do I need to manually reset to get things started? So obviously we have an issue. Because I would have expected at this point the system to come up. It's actually clamped again. So let me set it to 1.2 amps. Yeah, it's settling out right below an amp. So U38 missing could be the issue here. Potentially could have a logic device in upside down. I don't think so. So really at this point it's going to be take out the logic probe, see if there's any activity on anything. And so I guess that's what we're going to have to do next here. Not surprised, honestly, it didn't come up at this point. Uh, could be that the ROM leads are just too oxidized. Uh, so without a logic probe to kind of get an idea if there's even a clock active on the system, it's hard to say. So that's probably where I'm going to have to go next is logic probe and start to look at signals on the board. So we'll pick up and do that in a future video.